Hello and welcome. I'm your Geek Eric. And today we're going to talk about five reasons that I prefer using Godot for my personal projects, game jams, etc. over Unity, even though I'm a Unity developer for my day job. So let's talk about it. Reason number one, Godot's free. And that doesn't mean it's free up to making $10,000 a month. That doesn't mean it's free up to making a million dollars a year. That means it's free. The source code's out there. If you want to add a feature, if you want to fix a bug, you could download the engine. It takes like maybe two minutes to compile. It's a super lean uh, code base. And yeah, there it is. But not only that, it's not just that you can make the engine better yourself, but since all the development is happening out in the open, if you have a question and you're on GitHub and you're you know, reporting a bug or asking if this feature exists, the people that are responding to you are more than likely people who have read the source code of the game and are giving you a really informed response. A lot of times when you're, you know, on Stack Overflow or some YouTube comments and you're asking a question, you could be asking a question to someone who has at the same experience as you or maybe they've been playing with the engine for 6 months and you've just started. And you know, they're going to they're going to try to help and that's great. But you have access to the people who are actually writing the code. If you want that and you're using another engine like Unity, you have to pay like, I want to say it's $2,000 a year per license to have access to talk to those Unity engineers. It's a big deal. So that's my number one reason. My second reason for choosing Godot is a workflow reason. As someone who's, let me see, I've been using Unity for seven years, I think. And I've only been using Godot for, I think, a year? I think so. I find it much easier to write more modular, uh, more decoupled code in Godot than Unity. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One, a lot of the resources out there for Godot teach a call down signal up mentality in how you interact with nodes in the tree or hierarchy and it may sound simple and really it is but if you follow that it really helps you write cleaner code and with unity i find it easy to to write code that would only work in one game. And you can you can write decoupled code in Unity. You could use, you know, inheritance and abstractions to make it where your classes can be used in multiple games. But I think a lot of the tutorials out there and resources that Unity offers they don't encourage that very much. In Godot, I find that the encouraged path for development is a cleaner code base. And that may be just because the, uh, the circle of people making tutorials and content out there is smaller right now. I'm not sure. I think a lot of it has to do with... Um, the Godot documentation, but I just really enjoy it. So that's my second reason. Reason number three, and some of you may have guessed this because of my first reason being open source. My third reason is the excellent Linux support. And when I mean excellent, the main developer of the project uses Linux. If, if you're typing in the comments right now and you're saying there's a version of Unity that runs on Linux, 
get out of here. I get out of here. It there he is. You could download it. You could install it. There is so many bugs. It's unstable. It's not well supported. The documentation on their website is not there. It's just, it's so frustrating. One of the things that got me just last week with the Linux version of Unity was the fact that it only supports one or two video codecs. And it doesn't support any, I believe, that are hardware accelerated on mobile devices. And so if you want a build server and your game uses video that can be hardware decoded on these mobile devices, then your only option is to set up a Mac or Windows build server, uh, as far as I understand. And that That is as of Unity 2019.4. So Linux support is solid. Even though it's a community-driven project, not a super big group of developers, it crashes less than Unity does on Linux. So, something to think about. Moving on. Reason number four is that you could program a game using Godot with four different programming languages. You can write directly in the engine using C++, make it run lightning fast. You can write in, you know, also very fast C sharp and any of those other unity expats over there, come on over here. We, we support C sharp too, <laughs> but if you're new to programming, you may want to try out these other two options. Or if you're just more comfortable, comfortable in a Python like language, there's GD script, which is, there's more resources out there, um, teaching people GD script. And I find it really fun to use in smaller projects, especially game jams, where you just like, you're prototyping quick, you're testing stuff out. I've even used it in C-sharp projects when I'm prototyping a new feature. Sometimes I just like writing something real quick out using GD script and then come back and optimizing it with a different language or keeping it like that. Not every piece of code in your project has to be extremely optimized. And then lastly, for, again, new programmers out there, another easy step into game development is Godot's visual scripting. Now, I haven't personally used it. I do want to try it out uh, for a game jam or something just to see how it feels and, you know, so I have a reference point when recommending it or not recommending it, <laughs> but the general consensus is it has a lot of, has a lot of uh, improvements that need to be made, performance, usability, it's not as good as Unreal, but at least they got it, and at least they're improving it. I know they made some improvements in the last build on it, they're making improvements for Godot version number four, and it's, it's coming along. And now I'm going to put my old man hat on because whenever I first started programming in Unity, you could program using three different languages and it was great. It was wonderful. Except for confusion and documentation, Godot has that too, but I love the option. You could write in a Python-like language called Boo. You could write in JavaScript, which brought in a lot of web developers. And of course, the behemoth, you could write in C-sharp, which I love. <laughs> and then they dropped them. And that was sad because I, I think these, I think these easier entry level languages that are still extremely powerful and you could write big games with, you know, GD script and visual scripting. I, I think those gateway languages are really important to be bringing people, bring more developers in. Come on. The community's great. Keep it great. 
<laughs> so let's move on to the next one. Reason number five. Godot has been, I think, my best experience in developing 2D games. And for the last almost three years now, professionally, I've been developing 2D games in Unity. For Godot, it's crashless. The performance from the testing that I've done, the testing that I've seen other people do, the uh, physics performance definitely is better. I like the auto tiling, how easy it is. I really like the 2D lighting. The, the, the animation, I... I think I think you could do everything in Unity that you could do in Godot with those last three things with the latest update uh, for 2020. But I just I find that the features are less buggy at this point on Godot, and especially with the animation tree and some of these nodes that kind of go around that, it's a it's a nicer experience to use. I'm not saying that you can't make the same thing with another piece of software. No, you definitely can. But to me, it's a, it's a nicer experience to use. And it feels like it kind of just gets out of the way and lets me do my thing. Two years ago, when I was getting out of college and I had I had a job, I I really wanted to start doing a lot of side projects, you know, have a creative outlet. And this is my bonus reason. So since since like all day I'm using Unity and I get frustrated and I'm I'm probably running into things that the average hobbyist Unity user that may only use it a uh, hundred hours a year or something, they might not be running into some of the problems that I'm running into just because I have it open for X amount of time. I have to support other users and help them with their problems with it. So I, I probably run into more problems with Unity than the average Unity user. So I'm not saying you shouldn't use it. But what I found is that at the end of the day or on my weekend when I wanted to participate in game jams or just work on side projects, I found it was really hard to stay motivated Whenever I'm staring at the same program that I'm staring at all day for my day job. <laughs> and this is probably the biggest reason. Well, this is one of the biggest reasons. I would, I would say that the Linux support and the open source are the biggest ones. But this is one of the biggest ones still. It's that the fact that it looks different, it works different, it feels different has really helped me work on these side projects and game jams throughout the last year. And to that, I, I have to say thank you to everyone who has worked on the source code, helped with website documentation, helped noobs like me and others that were coming into the project. They're asking stupid questions, but they're being very nice to us um, in the forums. So I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to anyone who has donated to this project because it's helped me find a lot of enjoyment over this last year. And this, this last year has been, been real different for everyone. And uh, again, thank you. So if you want to follow me along with my journey using Godot and whatever engine at the time, game jams and side projects, please subscribe. Please like the video. If you have any positive or negative experiences, hey, comment them down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Happy New Year's.